Greetings everyone, my name is Achtalon and welcome back to the Achtalon Gaming Channel. Shuruk here, reporting from Stormwind. Apparently there is nothing going so far on. <laughs> what did you expect? Something going on when Shuruk is around? How foolish are you? <laughs> no, you are just test subject subjects in this episode. I'm gonna do some role-playing, of course, but since I bought uh, right after the Iron Man challenge of BFA, the Bandicoot full version, I wanna test out how fast it works and how well it does. So I need some video material uh, that I can combine. So yeah, I will report to you once I am I have found anyone that would be willing to roleplay. If possible, even go to the Dark Moon Fire with, fire with Shoduk, since Shoduk wants to go there. But I don't think uh, going there by myself would be any beneficial or any good. So I see you in a moment. Well, it seems there is a scheduled event going on Friday night, the poem evening. There are some friends of Shoduk's and a poetic nice evening. Good evening, Shoduk. Hello. It's always pleasant. Even Shoduk made a poem once. It was a short one. But I'm sure it was the best one. <laughs> no, it was actually the worst one. It was roses. Roses are red. Uh, violets are blue. Shoduk is awesome. But so are you. <laughs> Two more minutes and we will begin. Now this is something to behold. Actually it's very... Pleasant to be here at this uh, moment. This very one moment. I could maybe think of an an uh, poem, but I'm not so sure if I can manage that in time. So yeah, <laughs> could go again for a simple one, but poems are poems. They should at least look some like something. And English is still not my perfect style. Yeah no. Yeah no yeah no. <laughs> Nonetheless, I am curious about what we will see this evening. There are quite a few people gathered. Which makes this evening much, much more enjoyable. <laughs> well, I guess I wait the one more minute. Alright, we will wait. We want uh, Skipperino. Shoduk looking fantastic, beautiful, handsome, as always, with his freaking crown and white clothes. It's the White King again! What will he do this time? Welcome to the 109th meeting ever in Storwind Poetry Appreciation Society. Spas for short. <laughs> As usual, I will start out by reciting a poem, and then eventual other contributors may take turns reciting poems or eventual singing songs they sh will wish to share. Because songs lyrics are a form of poetry too. And as a, st 
As tradition is, the meeting will then conclude after approximately an hour or so, depending a bit on how many contributors are for this particular one, with a small firework display. Shorok will sing! <laughs> um, so, <laughs> time for reciting this meeting's first poem. <coughs> Preparing the voice is always mm, important. So, someone signing themselves, Leonop, Leonop Con Hinge, sent me this poem titled Prize the Titans. And even though I guess it uh, kind of really would be more suited for around Noble Garden, I'm going to recite it anyway. Because I, I actually think it's a really nice one. So, by Leonup Kochhinch. Praise the Titans. They say there was a chocolate egg. So sweet, so good. Made you back. But you don't really care for chocolate, do you? Well, it goes like this. A spoonful of sweet, a drop of milk, some cocoa beans that is milk to grain, the chocolate bunny making praise the titans. Praise the titans. Praise the Titans! <laughs> Sounds like a recipe to me. Your, fa your faith was strong. Your faith was... Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw the egg, you were no tool. But the sweetness of the chocolate overthrew you. Some vermin's forcing bunny charm. Wait a minute. Oh, that's hallelujah. <laughs> it had you food. You were disarmed. And from your lips, they drew the praise titans. <laughs> I'll praise the titans. Praise the titans. <laughs> You say I worship Sargeras. But I don't know no sergeant. A rush. And if I did, well really, that is what is what is it to you? There is a hint of light and sweet in every word. It doesn't matter what you heard. The holy or the broken. Praise the titans. Praise the titans. Praise the titans. <laughs> Praise the titans. How many times? <laughs> Praise the Titans! <laughs> that was... <laughs> I would say good. It was a mishmash between a hallelujah song and something I'm sure. Yaha! <laughs> it was about sex, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that Leonard Coghenge is quite a talented poet, it seems. Indeed, very naughty. <laughs> so, anyway. Anyways, I'm gonna report to you once there is another poet. Unless there will be fast. Which it seems. That Beatrice Briskwinter will give us a new one. Beatrice then. My turn, me! For under one. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Give Beatrice a hand. Clap more. No. Bottom line, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna have more. No, Alright, so here we go. Mm. You know that I'm gonna use the macro, right guys? You know the macro. Oh, uh, where is it, where is it? Shoruk song. Shoruk, Shoruk, sing, sing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this one isn't as much as a poem as it is an interpretive dance. Interesting. Looks like you forget the keyboard. <laughs> but okay. It's a uh, take on it. Let's not ruin that. How could you not fly behind me? Might. Great. <laughs> yeah, semi great, would say. Simon would, would not be impressed. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you, Beatrice. So... Who will be next with poem or song? <laughs> there are quite a plenty of people that want to be who they are. <laughs> oh fuck, I wanted to test actually the cutting ability, right? <laughs> oh well. I can still do that actually. We just have to dig in uh, more into the program. Oi, 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 oi. Or maybe even dance. <laughs> the lady. It's time for Ellie Jane Button. Hello, you all. Give her a hand. Of course we do. Hey, it's Ra Razalaz. Razalaz a lot. 
one of those few people that helped me and my two crewmates get the region, legion raid achievement it is not a poem but a joke ready mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes we are How does the sea greet people? It waves. <laughs> okay, that one got me. <laughs> I did not expect that one. Even though I know it, it still got me. I bet you did not see that coming. <laughs> well, coming wasn't there, but it was that. Still. Thank you, thank you. can be hired for children parties and better not why am I here thank you miss so next poet You better not skip Shoduk before he finishes. Or comedian, or singer, or dancer. <laughs> you then, mister. It seems like he is pointing at Radimir. Radimir Avstik. It's an odd name. Greetings everyone. Give him an applaud as well. What the fuck was that? <laughs> huba huba, how is this hunka hunka? This poem is rather late, I would say. I dubbed it Sleepy Heralds. It goes something like this. As the skies have swept the lands turned to mud, mud, the waters have swept a snow called flood. What? Flood? The white of ice and flake gives a way for green and fair. Of four sleepers to wake, our snowdrops unaware. Their still sleepy heads dangle in the melod breeze over their fading beds and below the, the still naked trees. On the small fields, their drowsy blooms declare the winter finally yields and the spring threads in the air. Once more of season comes the gallant flowers bow gently. After the raindrop drums, the sun shines plenty. Such are heralds of the spring, with the winds tender and warm, returning flocks that chirp and sing, hiding insects that buzz and swarm. Heralds sleepy, yawn and wake, rub, rub their petals wide, drop of dew they shake and chase away the night where did he bow oh thank you thank you you are all too kind
You had a song, Mr. Pandaren? Yeah. Short song. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, it won't be great for long. <laughs> Shuru clears his throat and prepares himself. Oh, he looks cuddly. <laughs> Three, two. One Shorok and friends go on an adventure to the unknown, see new stuff, make Shorok and friends very happy. <laughs> No! 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 <laughs> the war singer has sung. Short but really nice. <laughs> yeah, sure. A worthwhile message to sing about. Thank you, mister. Fancy gnome is welcome. <laughs> you should never let Shuruk sing. <laughs> never. So, next one, to share a poem or something similar to that. You then, mister. Then drink. Huh? <sighs> Okay, Liam Matterson. I uh, Liam swallows heavily. Who? Someone is nervous. <laughs> yeah. I have I haven't written poetry in a while, so I may be rusty a. But uh, this is summertime. Nice title. Mm -hmm. The sun rises and rides up the. I love the sun rises and rides up in the sky. The hours are long. The temperatures high. To perseverance and love's galore. You're left to see one summer more. Hmm, that's pretty nice. We la we have laughed, we have loved. Though we might all thank the light above. For some we view this as another year ended. For others, we find that our hearts have been mended. So here is to another long year gone around. Filled with merry and mirth and cheerful sounds. For we whom are present, we guess we give thanks for that. For being alive and happy 
are the most key of all facts. Amazing! Thank you, mister. A really nice poem. Yes, yes, I, I would agree. Thank you, one and all. <laughs> you had one dink? Okay, let me find this dink. Dink. Dink battle swan. Battle worn. Yeah. Great. I know this the voices are uh, like all in one. <laughs> Gifting a proper upload. Okay, mm. This one I made mm, when I got called out about five minutes ago. Um, <laughs> what the? Oh. Excellent. Thank the waters and the streaming words. The hell. There, this frontier, the sun, with the blue windows. Smarmy and nature wanders, to the mountains blows. A piece of the stream of the world are. Orc in the sunlight, crowned with sunset. Our life is but a sunset and the waters. The scrunch of the mountains. Nurture in the past, in despair and fear and love. Thank you. That was actually great, especially for a poem that was made up on the spot. <laughs> Let's see if there will be another one. The smallest sheen I ever seen. <laughs> Sorry for the yawn. Smallest sheen on a gnome. So next poem on the stage. I have one battle. Katie! Who the hell is playing music around? I better turn off musician for now, just because it can be too annoying. Katie, then Zach. Zach first! <laughs> hmm, okay. Z Zaka Zakaria. Sorry for butchering your name, mate. Zach, you then. Okay, then. Or maybe it's Zacharia. I believe. A 
I'm usually allowed to do a little other advertising. So I will do that again. Tonight at 11, the golden keg. Ghost walks. Done. Now, on to the poem. I call this one the the ass. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. This is a short place about the magnificent behind. There are so many days where I can't get it off of my mind. With perfection it's face and excellent little touch. When she shakes it those ways it often makes me gush. Those shapes makes me drool. I would never give it up. A pass. I would be branded a fool if I let go of her arse. <laughs> a most ma marvelous rump. A vessel of pure delight. I would for sure give it a thump. A squeeze it real tight. A round curve behind. Fill all my off brand dreams, a pleasure grind, frustration and screams, and behind and a rear, a touch and a tail, a whistle and a cheer. I will end up in jail, <laughs> just like uh, Matt. I might sound a bit crass, but before I blow it up. I should marry that ass. <laughs> goodness, 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 goodness. That's a poem. Mhm, mm it's a curse. But I actually think this one was one of the greater ones. Really nice to be written. I think so as well. Thank you, Berto. Regardless of the team. Da, da, da. KD Seren! <laughs> oh goodness, oh goodness. I'm gonna make a cut here, obviously. Also, as Zack briefly mentioned, don't miss out on the ghost walk, that's Zack. There, and Didi host later. Then I would gladly go in her place, if no one other are ready to share some work. Hmm. Well, fair enough. Great. You then again, mister. Give him another applaud. Well, I'm again cu curious at you, Radimir Afsik. Well, here I am again. I would wait for the next meeting. But life is too short, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, for a human, short living. <laughs> I titled this one, What Could Be, Yet Is Not. Beyond the hill, beyond the sea, there lies still beauty to behold, a story to unfold, and a future to see. She was there a fire, I was too cold. She was a beautiful fire that took off me hold. And my words fall short on the feelings I had. A pristine burning gem, a pretty flower of fair on a rosy charred stem. But where? She fell so close, yet so far like a faraway star. She burned bright, I was bound to stall, 
Yet, of what I saw, I gladly sing a lot. Merry were the days, even if merry is not. The parting of our ways, a gem I held too weakly, because I shunned the wrong, bowed my head, my head meekly. Yet I lost her ere long. I feared of shattering the glass instead of lost sight of it, alas. And now, as the wind softly moan, so I in sadness subtly cry, because when nights fade away, the stars turn astray. Learn it, I did not, but I did learn in turn, for women are like fire that burns, embers warm like soft blanket, in a night, if handled right, Pyrus, flaming hot, takes singe strongly, if stra handled wrongly. <laughs> Another truly one, Mister. Wow, that was that was really good. That one was really good. <laughs> I don't think there will be much more left. Ah, Tatelia, the Drenai. Where do we have her? There we go. Come up here and share it. Oh, well then we. Ah, I've forgotten as well then. <laughs> Good luck and give her a hand. Hi, I'm Renvi, and you can all thank Zack for this. Oh dear. Oh, screw up. Uh oh. Uh oh. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done, Zack? What will this be? Will it be a little tail? Ah, I doubt that. I doubt it. Armies. For who do they fight? King? Home? Or might? Many they are uh, of class, race and age. But they play on the same stage. However, one is different, those with demons in their heart. For their master thought he was smart. Are you trash talking Illidan? <laughs> By leaving one letter out. Did not make a military, but an military. <laughs> <laughs> ah, finally, Tatelia. Let's give her a clap, lads. Put that clap in the chat. Also, let me know which one, in your opinion, was the best. Of course, don't judge it based on my recitation. Judge it on their <laughs> presentation. Uh, greetings. This, uh, 
the first poem I have actually ever written so well here it goes There was a little goat on a boat It was my father's boat on which there indeed was a goat While it was there it seemed like it was not going anywhere who knows? We do not know how this story ends, for all it greatly depends of what that goat has on its mind. <coughs> An answer to that like is so many things can be very complicated to find thank you <laughs> oh come on i can't even write a freaking clap an undead bard interesting I really love the guitar. Really nice for the first poem, surely. <laughs> Thank you, miss. Short and simple is often better than elaborate. Hmm, yeah, it depends. So, anyone left who hasn't had their turn? I will try to cut out as much as possible in terms of these waiting times. Sir, if you don't mind, I have one. More like a small ballad, really. Yeah? Sure miss. The stage is yours. Come up here and share it. Didn't do this. Not to mention, I have to try afterwards to ask everyone <laughs> uh, if I can put them on video. I wrote this one not so. Not long after my new life, you could say, began. It was for a really special person. This town was young, the leaves yet green. Okay, I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. <laughs> no stain yet on the street was seen. The windows bright, the light shined through. Yet unaware what I would bump into. His hair as dark as the night itself. Working the nights through by its, uh, himself. The world unfair, yet he stood tall. But compared to Horus, he was more. The murdered king, his power it grows. The way of death for us he chose. The denizens had now passed away. And with our lives we had to pay. The smelter called, no fire lit. 
his father's his father's throat next to it slid the hammer quiet the tongues unused the whiskey still no one to boost damn you are fi fast with that no harp is wrong no hammer fells falls the darkness dwells and slowly crawls there lies his corpse in blood so deep in hope he wakes again from sleep that was freaking good if I didn't screw it up myself <laughs> did I miss anything nope I missed only the one sentence, I had a visited the back, you know, sad, but nonetheless, a really good one. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. Is he saying? Well, anyone else? Spoken word, nicely said. I can recitate an older poem if no one else wants to. I guess that was it, as it goes for poems for this particular meeting then. Oh, it is sure. <laughs> now you want to go too, hey? The, the a good friend of Acton and Shoduk, so yeah. <laughs> ah, but then I have to go around again. Now ask around for permission. Oh, it would be so dandy. To stuff my face with cotton candy <laughs> and visit to the dark moon fair should quench this hunger, delaying it much further, but I can't take it any longer. Riding the roll coaster with no care for passenger safety, arriving at the ground in one piece, a sight escaped quite hefty. Only a slight and ominous feeling of unease in my belly which during the ride turned my knees into jelly, <laughs> exploring the games with fun quite unbound, clobbering the nasty nose with hammer into the ground, shooting a cannon of massive and, and sturdy co condition. Ha <laughs> ha! Surprise! You seem to be its required ammunition, <laughs> searing through the air like a bird, high and free. Just make sure to steer, or you might hit the tree. Injury treated, curiosi curiosities sated, and uneasy cured. Crap. It should be time to munch on the treats. So openly procedured. Mighty cheesecake, 
cheesecakes await the bellies of hungry guests. Hot dogs probably made with parts of local pets. Colorful drinks of shiny and radi radiant color. Looking better than quite a off-putting outdoor. Oh, it had been so dandy to stuff my face with cotton candy. Say that to the cranium and breathing heavily. It's time to slump home. <coughs> slump home for a rest quite heavenly. <laughs> Didn't expect that much text. Had to slow short messages that makes it just chaotic. It reminds me, I need to go to the fair before they clo they close. They close. this out I believe I'm not sure I still have to work out a lot a little bit this one is perfect for the training Jack Drauberson Give the big guy a hand Hello you lovely lot Name's Jack Drauberson I ain't much for a uh, poet, but I can let he, me loot do the talking. All right, great. Something I don't have to speak. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, the preview, the preview, the preview. What uh, usually in the year ears. I bring you or something here. Nice. Find really gr great people that can actually use it very well. Right, here we go. Let's see, can we do something about this? Mm. Sadly no. Unless...
<laughs> and a nice way to conclude this meeting. But may I do a short one? Oh, there will be still firework. Katie still has a poem. <laughs> Still the people. I have one as well, if possible. And not only her. More poems. Oh, sure. Three more people. No, <laughs> my voice. <laughs> yes, Katie first. All this. Oh, yeah. Pushing the payload. <laughs> I've crafted a wider rendition of what some might consider a classical piece of poetic literature. I call it the Blue Poem. Oh. Wow. Wow, we. Blue Poem. I have a blue crown, a blue frown, blue gummy worms to pick me up when I feel down. I would have a blue heart if it were not black, it's a red. A whispering demon. Upon my back. Writing, conniving, it tells me what to do. While it brings me through, it leaves me blue. Blue, 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 give me something new. <laughs> Purple, yellow, maybe even orange. Green, perhaps, the shade of orange. I wish my life weren't so blue. The solution to it all, I wish I knew. Thank you. I want to de dedicate this short poem to my friends and my lover that sits on the wall. Here it goes. She was in search of treasure, walking through the dark. She ran into an unexpected enemy, her life almost lost like a leg to a shark. But through hard work she found a way. Seems like her life was not at all meant to end that day. She had fought through a terrible bloodbath, but she met a new friend, new friends, and carved a new path. Now she no longer considers jumping.
She will live happily ever after, along with her pumpkin. <laughs> nice one. Thank you, everyone. Alright, this seems to be the end. I'm gonna do the montage maybe later tomorrow or this day still, probably, and see what I can get out of it. I will see you next time. Stay awesome, because that is what you truly are. Especially if you do this. 